Today is the 6th of May, Thursday, 5th week of Easter. The Gospel text is John 15, 9 to 11. First we pray. Jesus, during this time of prayer, May your spirit bear witness to you in our hearts. May he create in us knowledge and love of you. O Spirit of Christ, here we are, ready to listen to you. Speak, Lord. We are listening. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. Jesus is revealing to us the secret of his joy so that his joy may be in us and our joy be complete. What is the secret of such joy? As the Father has loved me, I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love. The secret of joy in him and in us. Jesus has just washed the disciples' feet as an example of his perfect love for them. It was expressed on the cross. It was this love that he expressed when he washed their feet, knelt before them and washed their feet. He truly gave his life for those whom he loved and thus kept the Father's commandment. He received the strength to do this because he remained in the Father's love. The Father loved the Son with an infinite love and gave himself to the Son. This infinite love of the Father in Jesus gave him the strength to observe the Father's commandment by sacrificing himself for his disciples. The Father's love remaining in him that gave him the strength to sacrifice himself for others. 
This is the cause of Jesus' joy. To have this joy in us, what is necessary is to love like him by keeping his commandment of love. What shall we do to be able to keep his commandment of love? What shall we do? All that we have to do is to remain in his love. As the Father has loved me, I have loved you. Remain in my love. What does it mean to remain in his love? We have to believe in his love for us. Accept this love. And let this love remain in us as the source of our love for others. The love of Jesus remaining in us becomes the source of our love for others. A love without limit, like His. A love that is willing to give our life for others if necessary. A love that moves us to share what we have with others. A love that is active in sacrificing ourselves daily in the service of others. When we love in this way, we are remaining in the love of Jesus. And this brings us joy. So when we love in this way, we are showing outwardly what is inside? The love of Jesus in us. Jesus in us. So when we love in this way, like Jesus, we experience the joy which Jesus experienced. This is what John says in his first letter. I read, we are well aware that we have passed over from death to life because we love our brothers. First John 3.14, we have already passed from eternal death to eternal life. We are already living in heaven. We are already living heavenly life because we love our brothers. Yeah, life means eternal life. So, when we love like Jesus, we are already in heaven. We are already passed from death to life, to eternal life. The Gospel of John also says something similar. Anyone who loves me will keep my word and my father will love him and we shall come to him and make a home in him. If you keep the commandment of Jesus, the commandment of love, what will happen? My father will love him. And we shall come to him and make a home in him. This is heaven. The father and the son remaining in our hearts. This is heaven. When we love, we are in heaven. Now we know the secret of joy, which no one can take away from us. Complete joy. 
His joy in us. Let us make every effort the whole day to live for others by sacrificing ourselves for others in self-sacrificing love. Let us never spend even a second in satisfying our selfish old self, the ego. We may check from time to time our motivation and ask ourselves, why am I doing this? For whose? For my sake? Is it out of my selfishness? To satisfy my ego, to feel my ego, or is it out of pure love? We will then experience something of what we will experience for eternity. Eternal life. Union with the Father and the Son in the Spirit. As the Father has loved me, I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandment, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. These two verses is worth learning by heart and repeating them, repeating them often in our heart. So we pray, Jesus, you have shared with us your secret of joy. May we continually receive your love in prayer and let ourselves be loved by you. Then we shall be able to love like you and experience your joy. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.